So, as part of your revision today, you are going to go and make something specifically on enzymes. Right? You can start off sheet of paper. Fold it over so you're almost folding it over so it opens up like a cupboard. Right? So it opens up like that. Don't go and fold it in half, don't go and fold it in thirds or whatever, or else this isn't going to work. Right, fold it open so it opens up like that. Right, then, don't spend any more than 20 seconds writing enzymes revision. You're going to get no marks in an exam for writing a pretty title. Underneath that, I want a definition of what enzymes do. Key things to remember. Enzymes, biological catalysts, speed up reactions, speed up reactions by lowering activation energy. Three key things that that definition must contain. Underneath that, I'm suggesting that you do something on your lock and key mechanism. Right, remember the lock and key mechanism describes how enzymes work so you start off with an enzyme and a substrate that forms an enzyme substrate complex that breaks down the substrate and products are released and you're left with the enzyme so do that underneath your definition it's important that you know that then on your other side Three types of enzymes that you need to be aware of. Carbohydrases, proteases, lipases. So on that side, so as you go and bend over, so that part there, split it into three, so it goes and opens up like that. On the front, draw yourself a good diagram to show what's happening. So for instance, on the protease, Protease is breaking down proteins into amino acids. Right? Do the same with carbohydrases. Remember, carbohydrases are breaking down long carbohydrates into glucose or sugars. Lipases is breaking down lipids, which are fats, into glycerol and fatty acids. When you open it up, so on this part here, you going to see where they found, what the optimum, so what the best pH is for them to work at, what the general function is. So, if you're going and you're talking about carbohydrates, right, it's to break down starchy carbohydrates into sugars, right, we find it in the mouth, it works best, it's around pH 7, stuff like that. Right, so that will be on that part there. Right, on this inside part, two graphs. One showing the effect of temperature on pH activity. One showing the effect of pH on enzyme activity. You can go look both of those up. There's plenty of examples in the books. There's plenty of examples online. On the pH activity specifically, I want to know. I want to see on it these three enzymes. So what pH is lipase going to work best at? What pH is protease going to work best at? Right. Then in the middle, I want you to be thinking about this investigation. So if you were... A, Looking at the effect of pH on protease activity, right? You're going to go. I've not labelled up this equipment, but you can go and label it up. You're given three lots, and you're given, well, no pieces of boiled egg, for instance, or whatever. That in any experiment that it talks about will just represent the amount of protein. Think about the variables. So we're going to be adding protease to it. So our independent variable, so what we're changing, 
will be the pH. Our dependent variable, so what we're measuring, is the length of the oh no, piece of egg in this case, or the amount of protein, or whatever. The less protein there is at the end, the better your protease is worked out. Remember, you've got things, control variables, things that you'll need to keep the same every time. So, type of enzyme, volume of enzyme used, volume of liquid, you'll need to keep the temperature the same each time. Things like that. So, write yourself a basic method. Think about if you're doing it, how many times you're going to repeat it. How are you going to make it more accurate? How could we make it more precise? Things like that. Then underneath that, what your results will show. So if it's this, the shorter the piece of protein that's left, the better the enzymes worked. If you want to think about how you could graph that, feel free. So that is how you're going to go and put together your affordable thing on enzymes.